In finding the mean and the variance of a binomial distribution, we follow some set of formula. So to find the mean of a binomial distribution, the formula is simply n times p, and for the variance, it's n times p times q, denoted by sigma squared, and for the standard deviation, it's the square root of the variance, which is the square root of npq, where n is the number of trials, p is the probability of success, and q is the probability of failure. Now you have to remember that when you're finding the mean, you're also finding the expected value. So sometimes the wording of the problem requires the expected value as opposed to the mean, so you have to watch out for that. Now in this given problem, Michael makes 60% of his free throw shots. Now what is his expected shot um, if it's given five free throw shots in a given game. Now to answer the problem, we just need to organize our givens first. So n, which is the number of trial, is given by five, or five free throw shots. His probability of success is also given, which is 0.60, with the probability of failure of 40%. Now to find the expected value, we're simply finding the mean of the binomial distribution. So this is a binomial distribution because it satisfies the four conditions. Now for the mu of x, it's equal to n times p, where n is the number of uh, trials and p is the probability of success. Multiplying it will give you 3. So there is an expected value of 3 shots for this given problem. So therefore, Michael is expected to make 3 shots if he's given 5 3 throw shots in a given game. And we use the formula for the mean to answer this problem. Now for the second example, Anissa has an excellent reputation as a salesperson, and she can sell bags of ice cubes in Alaska 92% of the time during winter. Now let's try to calculate her expected value and standard deviation given 400 bags of ice cubes that she needs to sell in Siberia. Now in this um, word problem, you need to make sure that it satisfies the four conditions of a binomial experiment so you can use the formula in finding the mean and the standard deviation of a binomial distribution. And in this case, it satisfies all four, so we can proceed to our formula. So n is 400, and p, or probability of success, is 0.92, and q is equal to 0 0.08, which is given in the word problem. Now to find its expected value, we're simply finding the mean of the distribution given by the formula n times p. So n times p is simply 400 times 0.92, giving you 368 for the value of the expected value. Now for the variance, it's simply n times p times q, so multiply 400 times 0.92 times 0 0.08, and you'll get 29.44. Now we are asked to find the standard deviation and not the variance, so what we need to do is take the square root of the variance, so we can get 5.43, making us answer the questions that's being asked for finding the expected value and uh, the standard deviation. Now, in conclusion, Anissa is expected to sell 368 bags of ice cubes in Siberia with a standard deviation of 5.43 bags. <laughs>